Let's get right into it, man. Um, you posted something on social media saying that uh, you'll be competing real, real soon. I couldn't find no information on it. So, of course, I'm going to have to ask you. You know what I mean? You're the source. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fighting uh, September 9th um, at uh, the MGM in uh, in Springfield, Massachusetts for CES. And uh, I'm fighting this kid. Uh, they haven't really announced the opponent yet, so I, I don't know if I'm supposed to say who it is yet or, or what the, whatever the deal is. But he's a tough kid. He's a tough kid. Good. Uh, his record's not the best record, but he's be- much, much better than his record. Um, he's fought only really tough kids and. It's it's gonna be a scrap, man. You, the way the way I like fights to be, you know, tough, in your face fights that uh everybody can get behind. You know what I mean? That's uh, most of my fights, except the last couple, not nah, they've all been exciting. So that's that's what I'm out here to bring is bring out, bring out exciting fights and uh put butts in the seats. You know, I'm very intrigued by this because like you have an opponent, but you can't tell us who it is. But I can ask you questions to kind of figure it out, I guess. So. What kind of style does your opponent have? Can you explain that to us? Um, he's kind of like a he's s- similar to me in a way. You know what I mean? He's a scrappy, scrappy in your face boxer, puts pressure on and, and tries to finish his fights that way. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not going to sit here and bash him or, or anything else. We both, I'm not one that's not sloppy. You know what I mean? We throw a little bit. We both throw a little bit sloppy. We leave our faces out there to get hit a little bit more than we should. And uh. It's gonna be it's gonna be one of those fights, you know what I mean? One of those one of those bangers. Why did you decide to come back now? You know what I mean? Instead of maybe take a little bit more time off. Um, I think it was I think it was I think it was enough time. You know what I mean? I was sitting there being mopey and and uh dwelling in myself and my flaws, you know what I mean? I don't like how I left the UFC, you know what I mean? How how it happened and only getting a couple fights and getting kicked and stuff, you know what I mean? I didn't put a good show out for myself. The last fight, um there was a lot of stuff in my brain mentally, but there's no excuse. I felt really good the night of the night of the fight and everything else. It wasn't physically, it was, it was more me being weak mentally and getting to these points. And now it's just time to be, be a man and, and handle myself accordingly. You know what I mean? Get out of my own, out of my own way and show the world who I really am and what I really am. You know what I mean? I, I, I didn't do that. I didn't get to do that. There was a fight where I was a punching bag in a fight, I didn't never even really got started. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. Uh, I can't take any. I can't take any of that back. So now it's just time to go out there and find the love for this again. And that's what I was talking to people a lot about. Is I, I I got to the UFC and thought I was gonna like it. You know what I mean? I got there and it was it was build up. the The funnest part of that was getting the call to do it and then after that it was just a lot of a lot of access to my life and a lot of a lot of pressure that i put on myself and and it was what it was nothing that i was as a fighter and nobody got to see anything and now i gotta go out there and get back to back to my roots back to what i love and and show the world who i am again make it back looks like there's been a lot of uh learning lessons man with the with the two fights that you had with the UFC, man, because you got thrown into the spotlight. Let's let's be real with it. Like first fight, right into the fire. Yeah, for sure. And it, that's that fight. I actually knowing that I was I was down was a lot what lot funner for me. You know what I mean? Regardless of what it is, wh- whether it was a, a tough task or or I, very unlikely I was going to win, whatever. I don't really care. Those are the fights I like. I like being the guy that's not supposed to do it. Not there's no pressure. There's no there's no stupid comments. There's just you just go do that stuff. So that's why my whole career, I've always looked for the toughest fights I possibly could find, and it's only changed since the last one. They gave me a fight I was supposed to win, and that's why I got cut. You know what I mean? Everybody gets more than one or, or two fights in the UFC before they get cut. I got cut because it was a guy I was supposed to beat, and I I lost the way I did. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. I, I'm a man. I accept my. I accept what happens to me. And now it's just time to show everything that I really am, man. I've been working so much over the last year since I've been really fighting. It's been almost almost six, seven months, eight months since I fought my last one. So it's been a it's been a long time and a lot of work and a lot of a lot of mental mental training and and just really find, finding this again, man. I I my last camp, even my last camp, it was like it was hard to make it through camp. Like I don't. I'm at a point where I've been doing this over 10 years now. You know what I mean? And it's 
it's hard to, when you do it for this long and it's this it's this much shit that goes into this sport and how draining it really all right so um yeah let's uh from what i remember uh the mental side of things man you're talking about the mental side of things did you did you go out and you know uh get professionals help or how did you handle all of that you- um no it was just in your monologue you know what i mean being away from the being away from fighting for a little while and just following all the training and and finding my like jujitsu and really liking jujitsu now liking everything else that i'm doing so it, it was just being away from the sport you know what i mean sometimes you need those breaks and uh being away from fighting and not putting all that pressure on myself all the time and uh it's it's definitely it, it's definitely helped uh i've reinvigorated my training new training partners new added added things to my camp taking things away like i took really found out found uh found strength and conditioning now like i wasn't really i just started doing it like my like my last couple of fights like i went 10 years in the sport without strength and conditioning so it was it's cool seeing how my body's changed and seeing how everything else i'm just i'm just falling back in love with this that's great to hear man and you know did you change did you change anything for this com- this camp like preparing for this fight um, I'm just trying to find the old me again. You know what I mean. So f- let's focus on my my opponent, and that's something that my first coach, uh, George Rivera, really instilled in me. Is like, let's not really worry about what they do. Let's worry about making you the best you you can possibly be. And that's what I'm trying to find again. This one. You know what I mean. Just be the best me I can be. Not really worry about what he does good or what he does bad. Just worry about myself and making myself. A, a machine in every every possible situation this could be you know what i mean keeping my hands up not avoiding these old loopy punches I, I i tend to when punches come at me i tend to pull back back up with my head up and that's how i've been caught a few times and it was similar in the last fight you know what i mean i was jumping back with my hand up and he bombed an overhand and it landed you know what i mean so i have flaws that i make and now it's time to just over this last eight months i'm just focused on what they are and, and 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 improve my skills. You know what I mean. I got too many people say, telling me I don't move my head and don't train it. So had to go, had to go back to had, back to the drawing board and and just just fix fine tune this this shit up. With this fight coming up, is it more of you showing uh, the skill side of your of of your uh, fighting style rather than you know showing the the action packs side of yourself? You know, because we've seen the action pack side. That's always that's also the that's always the plan. Be 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 show my skills and stuff. The dog always comes out though. You know what I mean? It's it's hard not to let him come out, man. He gets hungry and he 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 breaks through the fence. So we'll see. I'll, of course, I'm gonna try to make it make it a fight that I, I I dominate and and get in there without taking too much damage and and just get in and get out. But who knows? Who knows what happens, man? This kid's I like like. Like I said, I'm not a I'm not a disrespectful person. I'm here, and I know what my my opponents have. I know this kid's tough. I know he's coming to fight, and I know he's getting overlooked. He feels like he probably he probably feels like he's getting overlooked, and he's gonna come and make a name off me. You know what I mean? I got a name now, so now everybody's gonna want to take a piece. So it's it's my job to be really focused, take this man take this man very seriously, and and know what I'm what I'm here to do. What's the plans for the for the next couple of years? You know, I mean, it's always interesting to see a, a fighter get into the UFC, fight a couple of times, get released, but then work themselves back up. Is that the plan for you to work yourself back up, or that's not even in your mind? You're just working on fight by fight. Of of course, that's the that's the that's the goal. Obviously, is make it back in. I don't like like I said, I don't like how I went out. My pride's a little hurt, but. What I really want to do in the next couple of years is just be that asshole, you know, I'm trying to ruin everybody's life, you know what I mean? Uh, it is what it is. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just that grumpy old dude that had his, had his shot. I'm trying to make it back, but if I don't, I'll be that guy that just takes out the young bucks and just m- never lets any of them make it, you know what I mean? I'll just be that gatekeeper that ruins everybody's life until I'm done doing this, you know what I mean? All right. Well, you get a chance, man. September 9th, CS70 in yeah. Springfield, Massachusetts. Chris, thank you, man, always for the time and uh, all the best in the fight. Thank you so much, brother.